Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Albite Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's France and they take on Belgium. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here. But whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Kimpembe. Teo Hernandez. Karim Benzema. Mbappe. Aurelien Chouameni. Coman. France looking dangerous here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Minier. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Paul Pogba doing his job defensively. Mbappe. Griezmann. Chance to put them in front. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now... Belgium get us moving again. A quick reply required after the disappointment of conceding. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Teo Hernandez. A very good tackle. Azar. Might really be able to trouble them here. Teammates available. This could square the game. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Karim Benzema. Mbappe with it. Mbappe. Pogba. Is it going to be? The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to... And Lukaku totally composed with the finish! Well, as you can see again, this is such a good cross from Hazard, and the header is absolutely perfect. Lukaku meets the ball with great timing, and top-class technique. That's a wonderful goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Must take the lead here. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, I won't get tired of watching this. It's an outstanding bit of play. Just look how far he runs with the ball. That's a great goal. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, two one it is here. And the ball is rolling again. Belgium trailing after the first half. Can they find a response here in the second? Paul Pogba. Karim Benzema. Griezmann. Benzema. Expert piece of finishing from Benzema. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? It's going to be a Belgium throw-in. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Alert defending. Well, a joy to watch. 
An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And teammates around him. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, Belgium's still trailing here, but this game very much alive as a contest again. What's going to happen next? Karim Benzema, can he do it? There it is, two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So the current score line, 4-2. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Good defending. Could pull one back here. And a goal! They've cut into the lead! It's not settled yet! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, how about this? 4-3. Five minutes remaining. And one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close and the advantage accrues to the attacking side can he finish them off mopping up defensively and it's over France are through to the quarterfinals well going forward their one and two touch passing was excellent and they created so many opportunities but they will certainly need to improve their defensive structure going into the next round.